Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to bring you a dream that I had just this week. Uh, it's a very short dream. It's not as detailed as my dad's dreams or my daughter's dreams, but I do think it's legit in that its message is very clear and straightforward. Uh, I think, although there are parts of it, I'm like, I don't know what that means. So I'm not sure, I, you know, I can't bring you perfect interpretation. Absolutely not. But I do think it's a warning dream. Definitely a warning dream. What it's warning us of, I, I, I can't. Uh, there's lots of things going on. <laughs> there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, but uh, mainly we need to stay focused on on who the who the real battle is against. All right, uh, which is not flesh and blood, <laughs> but that's well. I'll cover that in just a minute. All right, this dream, y'all. This dream, uh, it was me and my daughter and my son, and we were in the front yard underneath this big pine tree y'all i'm just gonna show you this big do y'all see that big pine tree it's like stinking huge it's so beautiful it's it's this big pine tree and we were underneath that pine tree and as we were standing there i had this feeling i had this sense of urgency i need to get bread milk and eggs i i needed to go to the store and get supplies i had but not just supplies bread milk and eggs as I was standing there, and it was daytime, I looked up in the sky, and it was full of about 30 fighter pilot, fighter planes, like F-16s, F-35s, F-22s. I mean, I don't know all the fighter plane numbers. But it was full of that, and it was full of helicopters. Military, it was all military. And they were crisscrossing like they were fighting with each other. They were American. They were not from another country. They were from the United States. And in and of itself, that's, that could be just a regular dream because I watched that. But these, the color, they were not green or black or military colors. They were all white. Solid white. So as I was watching these planes, one of them like uh, hovered down next to me like right next to me I could see the pilot in the cockpit right right there and he had this horrible sense of fear and warning on his face and he did like this to me like and and he was like get inside get inside now he didn't say that but that's how I knew that's what I that's that's what he was saying to me in the dream I just knew that's what he was saying something is about to happen get inside now and take your children with you that that's what it felt like so I went inside and it was dark it became night immediately when I was inside but we were safe I knew we were safe but I still had that sense of, I should go to the store. Should I risk going to the store to get milk, eggs, and bread? Otherwise, we won't have it. Other, if, I don't get, if I don't get that now, whatever's fixing to happen, I'm not going to have a chance to get it again. What I have is what I have. And that will be it. I was so concerned about going to the store and then not being able to get back home. So I ended up not going to the store at all, and that was the end of the dream. So when I woke up in the morning, I went ahead and wrote it down in my journal because they were white, because the the aircraft, the, the, the fighter planes were white. And I just thought, is that indicating a spiritual battle going on? You know, we are fighting the unseen, not the seen. Ephesians 6 10 through 18 so I wondered that uh, I also think since it happened in the front yard it's something that's coming I'm sitting in my backyard right now but this was in the front yard something that is coming in the future often is what that means so that was something else also when I was I mowed the lawn y'all I hate yard work but I, I have had to do it this year uh, 
So I was mowing the lawn that day. I had the dream one that morning, and I kept it kept coming into my head. So it just made me think there must be something about this dream. There must be. The idea of going inside where it's safe, going home. It, it wasn't go inside. He was like, go home now. That That's what I wrote in the journal. That's like what that pilot was saying, go home now. And I don't think that it maybe it's a sense of Christ coming back and taking us home. That might be it. Uh, I'm not real sure. I will say this. The clock is ticking. Yeah, I'm not talking the doomsday clock. I know that's been moved up, and yeah, it's ticking. I know things over in Europe are stinking crazy. I know China is getting... Oh, I didn't mean to say that word. I'm probably going to get not a lot of views on this video now. But I know that they are... Um, they, have more mil they have more nuclear buildup than they've ever had including beefing up an, an EMP program, their EMP program. Uh, I know that they're fast-tracking uh, Ukraine into NATO, and, and I don't, that's, that ain't going to be good. That's going to cause escalation. That dam was, uh, was collapsed, attacked, and there's flooding. Uh, there's military exercises, the biggest we've seen happening in Finland right now uh, with NATO. And Japan is there, and Sweden. They're not part of NATO. So there's things happening that are just like, this is not, what is this? Uh, I think a time is coming, possibly. What you have in your home is what you have in your home. And that's all you're going to have to live on. That might that might be what's going to happen. But I do know that the spiritual battle is happening. And I do know that Christ is coming back to get us. And I don't know if that's going to be in my lifetime or not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Live your life as if it's going to be in the next moment. And if you are not a believer, now is the time. Get your house in order. Your spiritual house. Follow Christ now. He's coming back. It's real. This, He is the truth. He is the answer to everything wrong in the world right now. I promise you that. Come to Him. Find out who He is. If you can read, open up a Bible and read it read about our Savior's story. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'd start in John. John's my, John's my guy. John's, I, I, love, I love his books, his writings. But I promise you, y'all, get to where it's safe, and it's always safe in the fortress of Christ, and Christ alone. So I don't know exactly if that dream is literal or spiritual or both, but it was a warning. I wish you could have seen that pilot's face, y'all. He was, he, he was concerned. It was nearly like he was telling America through, I mean, it was me, but if he could have, he would have told everyone, get home now. In other words, <clears throat> get to safety. Get to safety. Okay. That's all I have. Y'all pray in the spirit. Do what you think uh, is appropriate in your life. And if you have any thoughts on this dream or any ideas or thoughts from your own dreams, your own visions, uh, your own uh, inspirations from the Holy Spirit as you worship, please comment in the comment section so that we can spur each other on to the end, to the finish line. All right, y'all, that's all I have. I hope that helps you uh, get ready in the physical, but more importantly, get connected to Jesus so that there'll be a day when he, when God says, come home, you're coming home now. Ah. 
I can't wait for that. That's going to be a great moment. I don't know if I'll see it in my lifetime. I know I'm going to see it after I'm dead and gone. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be with him. All right. That's all I have. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.